we try to do things to impress others. We forget about ourselves. And then after that, the, the evolution of the brand has been serious, you know. You need to invest into your brand. It's like in the music business. If you don't invest into your music, it's not going to go nowhere. I don't want you to be the, the guy that's going to give me $25 at one time. If you have the love and passion for it, you could do it. Y bienvenido a Nueva York de Noche. I'm your host, Vivi Sounds. Don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notification porque estaremos regalando una pasolita cuando lleguemos a los 2,000 seguidores. Y el día de hoy, un día especial. As you guys can see, I got my skelly on. We have the CEO and founder of Hashtag I Blame Society. My brother, Felix. Felix, thank you. No, thank you guys in. for having me. Thank you. Thank no, you no, for coming in. You know, actually, when I was talking to uh, Anderson, who was the person who, who got us together. El pana. Call him a Maduro guy. Well, actually, <laughs> my first interview of the year was Anderson. Okay. Um, uh, the first thing I told him, I said, Anderson, man, uh, like, help me out, man. give me some influencers or people who's into like business. And right away, he spoke about you. You know, he spoke about your brand. Um, and I had seen your brand, uh, okay. but uh, but I I didn't know that Anderson was so close to it, meaning you. Correct. Like, okay? Correct. Yeah. Um, and I told him, I said, Anderson, man. Um, if you can't have him come by or, or can I bring him in? And one of the things that I realized about your brand is I love the bubble. The bubbles in the uh, the stitching. Oh, the stitching, yeah. yes. Can you talk to us a little bit about your brand? Um, how long you been in business? Now it's going to be three years. Nice. The name being now for eight years. Um, I started doing it three years ago. Like I said, I brought the brand to life. Okay, three years ago. So it's, it's always been in the back of your mind. Correct. Okay. I mean, the hashtag, the name was out there for... Seven eight years. Okay, but I, I didn't think I was making. I was gonna do a brand nice. until three years ago. Until a friend of mine gave me that good idea to nice. doing it. Nice. Well, you know? What made you uh, uh, start now? I don't know. I'm into fashion. I like fashion, okay. so um, I have a passion for fashion. Nice. I think it's a nice name because to put it out there, never heard of I Blame Society. It's pretty cool. But listen, so people think it might think it's negative, but actually a blank society means hashtag a blank society means positivity of the mm. brand. You know, we don't we, we the resilience we possess in life. Nice. We nice. try to do things to impress others, we forget about ourselves. So it's 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 more than just a hashtag. There's a, mean, no, a meaning behind it's it. It's a meaning behind oh. it, yes, and there's a story to it. And and I took I turned that negative into a positive. I started doing things my way. Nice. It's okay for me to be myself. Of course. Of, so, you know, as an immigrant coming here, you're trying to blend in with the hood and stuff like yeah, that, yeah, you know? Yeah. So then I did my own, my own, I had my own thoughts, how to dress, how, yeah. how to be me. We was talking um out behind cameras, um, and one of the things that inspired, that actually, like, brought a light when you said it, um, that you, you, you started with this at an early age, um. A lot of people find their passion at an early age, but um, it's later on to later on, like myself, Correct. that you put it into play. Um, at what age you, you, you knew that uh, clothing was for you? I would say six or seven. Seven years Bro, old. Bro, I, so I still do to this day. I shower three times a day. <laughs> very, very important for I those who don't. I, I like, I like, yo, bro, I like, to be f <laughs> like, I like to be fresh. My clothes got to be clean, ironing mm. and everything. I've been ironing my clothes since I'm six. Six years old. And I still do it to this day. Nice. I don't let my mother do it. I don't let my <laughs> wife do it. I do it myself. And it's, it's crazy. I, let it, I, let, I do it myself. Let me do it myself. Yeah, yeah. That, you know? that, that's where um, you found your, your, your passion. Yes. Okay. Making sure you look good. You look trying, crispy. Trying, 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 trying. <laughs> yeah, have you done any collaborations like mm. uh, with, with brand? Because that's like in style now. Like you'll see like uh, Fila doing something with Fendi, or uh, is that something? You're At the moment, for? no, I haven't done any. But I'm looking forward to it. You know, um, anybody who's interested, who DM me. Right. I mean, I'm trying to DM people. Also, I have I've been doing it in my in my end, but. I haven't got in contact with anybody yet. What, what, what's the end goal for the brand? Like, you want it to be a lifestyle? You want it to be a, a an expensive brand that only a few can have? Or you no, want, I want, it to you want the masses? lifestyle. I want my brand for everybody. Nice. Everybody. I want this brand to expand international. Are you going to do, like, tiers in it? Like, 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 there's a lot of brands that have tiers. Like, you know, they have, you know, X for, you know, then the X for the higher and then... Are you going to do like tiers or just going to be like overall around? For now, it's going to be overall around. Yeah, for not? now. Yeah, like, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. So I'll just speak <laughs> for now. You know? Have you um, um, taken your clothing brand outside of the United States? or? I have. I mean, well, Dominican Republic, of course. Thank I you for bringing say, that up. Let me bring that up. Wait, let yeah, me rephrase that. Thank you. I want to bring that up. Customers in Dominican Republic oh, okay, and I have customers go. also in Canada. 
I've seen um, some celebrities in the Dominican Republic. Yes. Yeah. Can you name a few? I've seen a few. Ali David. Ali David. Ma- Ali David. Shout out to Ali David. Me, nice, personal. Nice. Oh, Maria Chibuda as oh, well. Ma- yeah, Maria. La Pampa Romana is a good friend of mine as well. Nice. And um, uh, is it, those are collaborations you're doing or, or those like they, they're looking into your brand and they, they buy your gear? They're, they're looking into the brand and nice. they, they support the brand as well. Nice, nice. They're very supportive of the brand. Nice, nice. Have you like considered like doing uh, shops or at the moment it's, it's an e-commerce? If at the moment it's an e-commerce, it's e-commerce. But definitely, definitely later on in the future, I'm going to have my own shop. Okay, okay. And, and where, where is the company based? Uh, Here in New York. In, in New York. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, That's why so, it says Hecho en Nueva York. So, oh, <laughs> okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. But I, I guess my, 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 my big question here is um, I want to get into the business side of things yeah. now. You know what I mean? Now we did the introduction. I want to get into the business side. How do you sell clothing in this day and age? Because uh, I'm going to be real with you. Like, if I were to tell you, um, hey, get into the music business, um, you're going to look at me a little weird because you All may right. not know what, 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 what you're doing. Yeah. Um, talk to me a little bit about the uh, the clothing business. How is it? Is it um, is does it is it is it a good pay? Uh, for those who are like who wants to start and like on the fence or want to hear someone who's already got their feet wet mm-hmm. and get the insight from you. Um, it's hard, but it's doable. Okay, if you have the love and passion for it, you could do it. When you, you say know? hard. Explain how. Because you need to find your customers. That's number one. Mm. Number two, you need to come at the shell. Be yourself. Put yourself out there. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. Yo, I so close. Mm. I so close out of my trunk. Okay. I got no shame on my game. I do e-commerce, myself, WhatsApp, everything. So you need something... I, I gave you the first day delivery right in the same day. Oh, oh so you are? Like, yeah, I do it myself in my car. I pick it up, nice. ride my car, bring it to you. Nice. So you do delivery. Um, yes. If, uh, if if it needs to be. If it needs to be. Yeah, yeah, chip. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I understand. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Won't stop bothering me, even even if we're in the in the middle of an interview. Bye now. <laughs> and one of the things that Anderson uh, had mentioned to me was uh, how much time you put into uh, into your clothing brand. He told me that you're very meticulous in terms of your quality. Uh, yes. And the stuff that you pay. Talk to us a little bit. Uh, how you go about your quality? I like good stuff, man. Is this something like um, when you actually uh, buy your, 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 your clothing, are you like at requesting samples in advance? or you? Use... Yes, I do. Okay, I do okay. request okay. samples in advance. Cause is that important? Like it for, is very like important. For somebody who's trying to learn how to do the... the, the... It's very important. Oh. Uh, it's very important. It's not you, just buy. Correct. It's very... Get samples. You need to wear the samples. Mm. Watch the samples, see how it's gonna look after the first watch. Cause oh, that's what I was gonna say. Cause sometimes you just buy stuff and uh, like for example me, like I'll get some stuff done, like you know, I'll, I'll go and get it done right. But then once I wash it, uh, it, it shrinks. No, you, got, <laughs> you need, and also if you are cheap, nothing helps. Oh. So you need to invest into your brand. It's like in the music biz- business. If you don't invest into your music. It's not gonna go nowhere. But when you say invest, like what? You like gotta spend money. Like, more, no, you gotta spend money and quality. Mm. You know, like that when you sell something to somebody, I'm selling you a brand. I'm just not selling you a name. Correct, correct. You know, like I want you as a customer to come back to me. You know, I don't want your. I don't want you to be like the guy that's gonna give me twenty five dollar one time. Yeah. I want that twenty five dollar multiple times. Multiple times. Okay, I have a few dollars, right? I want to start a clothing brand. How do I start it? Well, you gotta register the name. Number For, one, number one, register. <laughs> it's a uh, Zen business. <laughs> register the name. Get get uh, uh, the tax, all that good stuff. Make sure your name is not copyright, mm-hmm. and then start making samples. You know. Okay. Um, when I first started, which was the name across the T-shirt, white, black and white T-shirt. Right. Nice. And then after that, the, the evolution of the brand has been serious. You know. Um, shout out to Veronica. She's like behind the same type of person that right. has helped me um, ele- elevate the brand nice. to where to what it is right now. Um, and you um right now you're you're on your own or you have a team? I'm by myself. Nice. I had a team, but by myself. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean sometimes you you gotta yeah. make the numbers work. If the numbers don't work, yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> it. You gotta make the numbers that's work. It. Do do have you ever like thought about like um. Starting like with like for example like the way I see it is like there's a lot of stores right like have you ever thought about like dropping at, at some stores or 
I, I have. You would know more than me. I'm, have, I'm just asking questions I, here. I, I have sent emails out, but they never get back to me. Why? Those are the good ones. Those are the good ones. Because yeah. on my way up. No, no correct. I mean, I, I ain't mad at them, you know. <laughs> nah, I send nah. them emails. I send them, I send them my media kit yeah. that talks about the brand, the founder, what we do. And I seen your... um. Thank you for bringing up Media Kit. I seen your Instagram, like like the business one. Yes. And I like the videos you do. Like, uh, are you the ones behind the the creative uh, process behind no, the videos? No, no, loud creative. They run my page, my oh, social media. Oh. But I send them the content. to put my content together. Looks make good. Look, you got good models. Good. Like one of the things that really caught my eyes, like your models. You you got like top tier models. Like <laughs> like like. When I was watching the like the, I, the just, I just have cute friends. <laughs> cute when, friends. When I was watching the commercial, like the models were like, were like wow, like this is a real model. Yeah, I, I got I got some good friends. <laughs> it's very important to do. And um, have have you ever thought about uh like doing something with like 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 a vehicle like like for example like I I knew Eddie Bauer one time. Yeah, they did like a a, a vehicle. Like the interior, is that something you're into, or at right the, now you just at like at the moment? No, I need to be, before you walk, you need to crawl. So I'm oh. still on my baby steps yeah. stages, you know. So I, I, I can't say it right now. Maybe in the future, who knows? What about any like um, like sponsorships? Like, have you ever sponsored like an artist or? Oh, I do sponsor Dreamers. What's by, that? Elaborate uh, a little bit on that. Yeah, Dreamers is from um, Eliana Hitches. He's a good friend of mine. Okay, a prof professional dancer. So I sponsor them, the teachers for the kids. So oh. she teaches the kids like professional dance and stuff like that. Nice. So she has worked like big people, Janet Jackson, Daddy nice. Yankee, you name it. She's been there. So so we're good friends. You, so Shout you, out to Dreamers. Do you, so you, I, I, that, that I would consider that would be part of like a donation, right? Yeah, it's a sponsor. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Yeah, you ever like done like like baseball teams and no, like that? No, oh, okay, no, okay. no, no. Maybe vamos a involucrarlo, eh? ¿Quién sabe un día de esto? We're supposed to. <laughs> We're supposed to. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, is going to school important? Because I know there's a lot of designers that they they go they put themselves to school. Um, is going to school an element that's important nowadays in age? Education is key. You need to go to school regardless. I mean, I'm not saying you need a PhD. Yeah. But you need to have something. You you need you need that plan B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. need that plan B. Yeah, I think in every business. <laughs> yeah, so education is very important. You know. Was that something that um you went through it or or you just went on your own? No, I went to school. I mean. Oh nice. I, I went to school to just to say that I have a diploma. Oh, you kind of didn't do. <laughs> Man, I worked since I'm ten years old. Yeah, well, that that's that's a a, a Spanish trait. You know, Correct. we worked. Since so we, I worked since little. So. I went to school just to get by. <laughs> hey, I'm real to I, myself, I, man. I'm not going <laughs> to sit down here. And, you know, now that you say that you're into yourself, um, is that something that's important when you are um, when you have a brand? Do you have to go out and shake a lot of hands for your brand? You have, to. To. You have Face to. recognition. How important is that? It's very important. Okay, okay. It's very important. They need to know who's behind the brand. Who's behind the brand. You know, nowadays, um, it's funny that you say that because um, I was watching a report. And every nowadays, uh, companies need a face to associate the brands with. Mm -hmm. um, and when I was watching your commercial, I, I, besides the fact that I saw your models, I saw a, a glimpse of you as well. Um, so you, you model your clothes as well? Oh, I represent myself. By any means necessary, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> By default, man. <laughs> and uh, where I, I think we didn't get into um, where you're from, Felix. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. You know, it brings me uh, a lot of pride uh, when I see like a Dominican that's uh, doing a business or it's like doing a venture or doing something that's out of the norm because I see a lot of people selling clothes. But I don't see a lot of people selling their brand clothes, you know? The top difference. How, 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 how is your family uh, supporting you? How, how, they, how are they uh, with this endeavor that you have? My number one support is my wife. Nice. And then I got my mother, you know, um, my father, my brothers and, I, and my sister. But my, my, my top, top three supporters is my wife, mother, and father. Nice. Yes. They support me. <laughs> They support me by any means necessary. You know, how much is it here? Don't matter. Mm, yeah. You know, in, and in business, I forgot who told me this. It was a business person who told me this. He said, um, 
in business, you need to make sure your family's straight before you even consider anything in your business. Uh, mm. And I think what you what you just said, you hit it right there. Um, if you don't have that support, um, you. But some, you, let me tell you something. Listen, normally you, you really don't need the support actually for your family yeah. and friends because yeah. you know somebody that don't don't know you is gonna support you more than you actually your family members and your friends. They do say and that. That's a true statement. They it is true statement. You know, you go out there, you sell your clothes. Somebody that don't know you, we mess with you. We fuck with you. Excuse my French, and you know, they be like, they will post your brand. They will buy your stuff. You know, so supporting doesn't mean you have to buy it. Tampoco, you feel me? You could repost, you yeah. could talk about it. Yeah. It only takes ten seconds, and it's free to repost. And it's free. <laughs> Yo, you, 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 you know what's crazy? Yo, this is the craziest thing, right? So you go to your friend's Instagram or whatever. It used to bother me before, but now it's whatever. I talk yeah. about it. Yo, they repost. Oh, happy birthday, Jay Z. Oh, oh, let me go to World, World, World Star, whatever. Repost what they're doing, which is yeah. cool. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, can, but your stuff, they won't repost. They, they won't repost that stuff. Why? Ah, man, tú me vas a volver loco para que te pongas a cada rato. But then again, but then so so they think you change. You don't change. Your circles start changing because mm -hmm. you're moving different. Yeah. You know, so it's just like supporting. It doesn't mean you have to buy, but just repost, talk about the brand, help your friends. Yeah. It's just the same way you help other people that don't even know you. You know, um, since you said that, um, I couldn't agree any more with you because my brother and I, uh, my brother who's uh, my business partner, we always talk about how important it is for, uh, to have people support. Uh, but sometimes you can't force no one to support you. A hundred percent. You can't force no one. And uh, it, it makes you just get become more hungry and go get it yourself. Um, mm -hmm. Like when, when we started this endeavor, uh, we wanted people's support, but we felt like our support was stronger, like your own support um, uh, was stronger. I, I, want, I want you to let them, like, I, I want you to uh, have our subscribers, right? Mm -hmm. Tell them something. Um I want you to give them some kind of, how can I say, in, in, I want to say this the most perfect way possible. Me uh, gustaría que tú le un consejo para aquellos que quieren comenzar a emprender en el negocio de la ropa. Un consejo que usted le pueda dar. Un consejo que yo le puedo dar a ellos. Al que, al que ahora mismo está en su casa maquinando, uh, que quiera hacer algo. Let, let me tell you something, uh, Felix. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not big on clothing, but I, every day I want to start a, a, a clothing brand. Every day it goes through my mind, but obviously like it's not my thing or whatever. Uh, but give me some words of inspiration for those who are on the fence. Just do it. Mm. You, you, got, you need to be in it. Just do it. And then it's going to lead you the, the right path. If you care so much about clothing brand, listen, if you're going to do it for the money, don't do it. Don't do Hands it. Hands down. Mm. Do it out of love. If you do it with love and passion, it's going to take you a long way. So my advice to them is just do it. If you're going to do it with love and passion, go for it. But if you're going to do it for the money, you're going to struggle. Why do you think if they do it for the money, um, they're going to struggle? Because they're, they're not going to put the love and time and passion. They just want to make a quick $10, $20, $15 profit. That's all it is. Mm. You think um, it's, it's better off to hold off and make a better profit opposed to just... Cor correct. I mean... For the record, that's just my opinion. Yeah, you know, no, no. That's we, my hey, opinion. Hey, I don't we, want we, no yeah. people no. to get offended. <laughs> no, my yeah, opinion. Yeah. No, it's just, you need to, like, when I, I just started, with, when I started, I started with regular t-shirts, right? Next level t-shirt. Okay. And I used to put my name on it, right? Now everything is mine. From oh, so you used to, before you used to wear, um like, get, like, other brands and then slap a logo on it. Co yeah, so, right? so, Supreme type of stuff. Okay. Oh, well, that's what Supreme does. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so... Then I sat down, I'm like, listen, that, they have good stuff, but they want my own stuff. I want to be unique. I want to be authentic. So I started doing my own cloth, my own stitching, everything from the tee, from head to toe. Then got my own hats, <laughs> my corduroy hats. Oh, nice. I was looking at the hat. My corduroy hats. You know, very good material, too. Beautiful hat. So the, the hoodie, the jacket, everything. So everything is mine. Head to toe. I, hashtag I blame, blame society. society. Head to toe. 
It's like the Superman symbol with nah. the H. You ever thought like you you be can... dressed in your own clothing, has it though? No. Nice. Never. Nice. Never, 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 never. Man, that, that's it's a dream come true. Mm-hmm. That's 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 amazing, man. It's an amazing story, and that's why every week we want to bring in people um, that can tell us your, your enough, story. Let me give a shout out to my boy Joel. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Joel Dine MVP Barber, man. He's oh, Joel Dine. Joel he's oh, doing a legacy. Tell him we need, we need him. I let him know. Oh, <laughs> and I got, oh, we have a collaboration. I say even no, but it's, it's not mm. clothing wise, but legacy nice. and Lane Society pants, you see? Wow. Oh, so, so you have uh, pants? Yeah, him and I. Nice. I, I'll give you this for you. I'll give one to your brother, too. Oh, wow. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, I see this. Wow, thank you, man. Wow, You're welcome, is, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, wow. I blame society, legacy. Wow. Right, real, yeah, Damn. man. Wow, Felix. Thank you, man. You're wow, welcome, bro. Man, for real. Wow, this is beautiful. Yo, beautiful I support, pen. listen, I support all my friends. I support nice, Jordan. Man. I support Tubio Carrara. This nice. Is, this, that, we went to high school together, him and I. The guy who did the watch. Yeah, the watch. Yeah, his name is Angel. Shout outs to them, too. Wow. Yeah, I support all my friends. Nice, nice. Yeah, no, and uh, Felix, I mean, I, 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 want, I want to put this on camera here. Um, Anything that we can do um, in terms of lending you our platform. Um, Thank you. If you need to create a jingle. Anything that has to do with media and we can support you. Thank you. Please Thank you. Ca- count on us. Um, you have a, a set of brothers here. Thank you. Um, Appreciate it. You came through a brother of mine and any friend, brother of his is by obligation, my brother, man. Thank you so much. Now, I want to say, Felix, thank you for coming out. Um, You're welcome. My pleasure. I, I want to tell everybody, uh, let them know your um, your Instagram or where they can uh, go ahead and buy the clothing. So, the the, the website is i-blinksociety.com. The Instagram is i.blinksociety.tm. As for Twitter, the same. TikTok, i.blinksociety.tm. You could use all my platform to make a purchase. Everything's linked to my to my website. So check me out. Nice, nice. So well, <laughs> you guys, you guys heard it from the man himself, Felix, CEO and founder of hashtag I Blame Society. Don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification, because like I said, every day and every week, we are giving away a brand new moped once we hit the two thousand subscriber. So once again, guys, go ahead and subscribe. This is the BB Sound Show. Damn, damn, Felix, good luck, yeah. For sure, my brother.